Truckmaster and Rust Belt Mechanic have teamed up to bring you guys this awesome giveaway. Go to truckmasterdiesel.com. Every one purchase is one entry to win. Or go to the Truckmaster YouTube channel and click the donation button. Every entry into that is also a entry to win the HSP bundle kit. Don't waste any time. never been so serious about what I'm about to tell you guys here on this channel stay tuned first of all once you saw in the beginning of the video my wife in the intro which I think is actually kind of cool but guys we have about nine more days left for that giveaway that LBZ to LMM 06 2010 bundle kit I'm so excited to release the winner but we only have nine days okay if you have not entered in to win as you guys saw in the beginning one purchase is one entry so if you buy five that's five entries or you guys can just simply click that donate button right on my page there basically every five dollar donation is one entry that's how that works too so wanted to push that information out to you if you're interested in winning that sweet HSP bundle kit for a LMM or LBZ but here's some of the items for sale. Black chrome is going like crazy. I'm almost sold out of these right here. This is actually my favorite with the black border. And then of course you have the Cummins and Power Stroke stuff. And then we have the awesome key tags. I love these things by the way. As you guys can tell, this is probably my favorite right here. It has the black border. It's a really nice vinyl. But guys, in the future, I'm gonna have some killer giveaways. So can't express how excited I am that you guys are on board to support this right here, man. This is so cool. So today, unfortunately, I have to work on this Ford. I'll go ahead and get this repair done. You guys may have seen this red truck in some of my old previous videos. I did like a startup video on it. Don't believe that that exhaust back pressure tube line right there was the cause, but it was leaking, so it's going to be shooting air right out of that manifold. I get the privilege to work on the 7.3 liter 1999 Power Stroke. Yay me. We're here to the passenger side, and you look into the inner fender, you're going to have this little tube right here, and as you guys can see, it's actually cracked. And if you were to follow that tube all the way to the top of the motor, you're going to see this little sensor right here. And usually those get pretty clogged up. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that, replace it, and then I'm going to remove that tube. It's going to be a lot of fun because it's so rusty. So I'm going to go ahead and just remove this drive belt right here, just get out of the way. So I have a little bit of access, and then I'll go ahead and remove that tube. Apparently this is a pretty common problem. If those things get plugged up, more than likely MPGs are going to decrease like you wouldn't believe. And then of course you're going to have a lot of low power as well. I've hauled things with this truck before, and I'll tell you what, it is a slug. But once you get it going, man, it runs. It runs like you wouldn't believe. There we go. Broke her loose. That was actually pretty simple. It's on your side here. This is what's broken into the manifold fitting. That's it, guys. But as you guys can see, it's pretty plugged up. A lot of these guys just clean these up. So that's what I'm gonna do, guys. I'm gonna shoot some brake clean in there, some compressed air. Just clean it up nice and neat and just put it back in. And this is where I removed the sensor from. As you guys can see, that's all exhaust just gunked up in there. That's truly Robin horsepower. As you guys can see, there's a brand new tube connected to that manifold right there. So everything up top is all buttoned back up. Everything's put back together. Quite honestly, guys, there's a lot more issues going on than that. That's just one thing that I found that I repaired. We'll keep plugging away at the old 7.3 later. <laughs> Okay, so currently I'm running 20 by 12s, negative 51 offsets, Vision Prowler sitting on Delante DX9s, 35s, uh, 35 inch tires, 12 and a half wides is where I'm at right now on a six inch lift in the front pro comp, and I'm running rear Deaver springs, four inch lift springs in the rear, which are awesome. 
The truck is not sitting on blocks. More importantly, guys, we're talking about rims. We're talking about wheels. These are cheap China wheels. I really still like the design, to be honest with you. I keep referring back to what I originally wanted to do with the truck, and it was to make it a military theme. But then again, I was kind of struck between the old LMM that I had when I came back from my last deployment in Afghanistan. Had to get rid of it. Un unforeseen circumstances and now that I have my red truck back it's an LBZ classic body style with a cat eye which is awesome but you guys are gonna shoot me for saying this everybody has a blacked out truck nowadays everybody either has a black truck or a white truck or a truck that's red that is just blacked out you know what I mean everything's smoked and blacked out but I want to go back to chrome rims okay I know what you're gonna say all right I'm not too sure if I want to do it yet still I'm not too sure but I'm really thinking chrome wheels. I'm talking offsets, guys. I want some offset to it. Negative 44s, maybe do 22s. I'm not too sure yet, but I'm really gonna need your help on this one right here. So in order to tie it all together, I'm thinking Anthem wheels. It is a veteran owned company. It's got those little sergeant stripes on that emblem too. So sort of tie it all together. I was kind of sort of thinking Anthem. So what I'd like for you to do, if you can help me out, if you do have an Instagram and you do feel compelled to do this, um, shoot me a DM on a wheel from the Anthem website that you guys think will match my truck the best. What I'd like for you guys to do is sort of determine which route I'm gonna go with with the wheel setup and then the tire setup. I'm actually really happy with the Delante tires. I love these things. They're very inexpensive. They cost me $800 for the entire set plus mounting and balancing which came out to 900 bucks. So it was a steal. The wheels actually were about $700 a set. It came out to just under $2,000 with tax and all that good stuff. So. I'm super pumped about that. So I need your help, guys. My Instagram is at truck underscore master07. Go ahead and go over there if you can, if you have one. I'm going to be pulling the trigger on this thing very, very shortly. I'm not too sure if I want to sell the wheels, do a giveaway. I'm not too sure what I want to do with my current setup that I have on the truck. We'll see when that happens. But guys, I'm going to be kind of sort of flip-flopping. So please stay with me on the channel, please, okay? But you guys know my style. I'm an install video. I'm a product review on diesel performance parts. That's what I do on the channel. I do a lot of that stuff. I've been going to HSP quite a bit. I want to follow up on that fastest LML build. I think that's very intriguing. There's a lot of things that I'd like to do, so bear with me. In the big scheme of things, I have never done this before, okay? And I'm talking my style. I'm going to slam it down hard. I'm going to do a head stud how-to video on an LLY Duramax. I mean, everything guys and i'm going to try to make it as in-depth as possible but still get to the point a lot of you guys that own loi duramaxes know and a lot of us duramax heads definitely know and understand that lois are very prone to head gasket issues the ryan's diesel service in kodiak truck where i did the truck show there uh, in north prairie wisconsin these guys actually called me and they want me to come on down there and document this so that's what i'm going to do guys i'm going to get some of the best footage possible not only am i going to do a head stud video on how to do that it's going to be with the cab on by the way not with the cab off so it's gonna relate to a lot of you garage guys like myself but I'm gonna be slamming down a few other very very awesome videos at Ryan's diesel service and Kodiak truck guys I, I'm so excited and I, and I cannot make this up this is probably the biggest deal on the channel right now I've never done one before and as a matter of fact in all fairness there's not a YouTube video out there that really gets in depth on head gasket jobs um, or, or head stud jobs but enough of that okay just bear with me on the channel this is your first time stopping and you have to subscribe especially if you own a truck a diesel or a duramax you have to subscribe because i'm going to be pushing out a lot of really super informative content for you guys here in the very near future hopefully before december is what i'm hoping for before i can push this new video out this uh, head gasket head stud job but then again i don't want to space my content out and then completely drag it out you know what i mean i know a lot of youtubers do that so i definitely want to slam a lot of this down Unfortunately, I have my little wood stove in my garage. Thank you, Troy, for that one. But it's not going to keep me completely warm in the wintertime doing videos in the garage all the time because it gets so cold in here in Michigan. But I can't be more serious about what I'm talking about here, guys. The channel is going to be elevated to a point where it's going to be the go-to channel when it comes to installation videos. I want to push out some of the most informative content for this diesel community. Um, you guys just have to stay tuned. Guys, I am so serious about these wheels. I am so serious. Help me out. Throw me a bone. Guys, I'm thinking chrome. I'm thinking deep dish, negative 44s. I'm not dead set on it yet, but everybody and their brother has black wheels. I'm thinking about switching it up. Things are going to get intense. 
I appreciate you guys stopping by as always. Thank you so much for your support and do not forget about that giveaway guys. Nine more days. That LMM and LBZ bundle kit from HSP. We'll see you on the next video guys. Take care.